I was first diagnosed with cirrhosis earlier this year. It was shocking because um, I've only ever thought of cirrhosis as affecting people who drink, um, and I don't drink, so it came as uh, a bit of a bolt out of the blue. Birmingham is quite a unique place in liver disease. We have a university that leads the world in liver disease research. We have a hospital that has one of the most famous liver units in the world with a track record of liver transplantation going back decades. In 2008, we were awarded a grant from the UK government, from the National Institutes for Health Research, uh, to translate the work we've been doing in the Centre for Liver Research, the basic laboratory work, into new treatments for liver disease. I'm very fortunate we have a, a large clinical liver unit staffed with outstanding clinicians and clinician scientists. And that's underpinned by a laboratory set up, the Centre for Liver Research, which includes basic scientists, uh, clinician scientists, working on, on the mechanisms of liver disease. But the NIHR Biomedical Research Unit uh, has extended that into an early phase clinical trials unit and uh, the kind of res support staff, research nurses, trialists and statisticians who allow us to design and implement our clinical trials to complement the work we're doing on basic research. The realistic clinical trial is the largest randomised trial of its type looking at bone marrow stem cells as a way of reducing scarring in patients with liver cirrhosis. I was diagnosed as being on a stage 3 um, of cirrhosis. They sent me um, information about the trial and invited me to join. So um, I thought about it, talked to my family about it and decided that I really hadn't got anything to lose. It could only be um, for the positive if it worked. At the end of the clinical trial, the question that we will be able to answer is whether or not infusions of bone marrow stem cells are effective in reducing liver scarring. Doctors here have been brilliant. Um, all the doctors that I've seen have been really informative, they're helpful and tell you everything that they're doing so at no stage have I been unsure about what's going on. So it's been excellent. NIHR resources have been invaluable in allowing us to move our basic observations into what will be the largest randomised controlled clinical trial of its time. And being based in Birmingham we're fortunate in that our trial includes patients of many ethnic groups and it's thus much more representative of what we've seen across the globe. Studying uh, primary sclerosing cholangitis is a chronic uh, disease of the liver. It affects men and women equally, but what is interesting about PSC, it has the greatest unmet need in hepatology, and patients really need liver transplantation to survive because currently there is no effective medical therapy. So what I'm looking at the moment is I'm trying to get information from genome-wide association studies, which have uncovered um, uh, dozens of disease-associated loci in trying to understand the mechanisms by which these genetic polymorphisms may exert their biological functions. Well, this is really at the cutting edge of medicine and the cutting edge of treatment of liver disease. And if you actually understand the mechanisms that led them to their disease, then that gives you the opportunity to have therapies that are rational, personalised, stratified to the individual. The important things that we are trying to achieve with the unit is to train young clinicians and scientists to get them interested in liver disease and particularly translational uh, liver research. I chose to come to Birmingham because uh, it hosts one of the largest liver programs in Europe and it has a unique access in fresh human liver tissue which gives us the chance to perform high quality science. Birmingham really hosts one of the uh, sites which has the greatest opportunity to make a difference for patients with liver disease. One of our goals is to try and raise awareness about liver disease. Um, many people aren't aware that there are forms of liver disease apart from alcoholic liver disease. And many people with early liver disease don't know that they are in danger of going on to develop more serious disease. So we have a, an active program of public and, and patient engagement. Our vision and what really excites me about this unit is the ability for the first time in my career to take basic discovery science from the laboratory into the patient for the benefit of patients with liver disease. We hope this is the beginning of a very exciting era of translational medicine in Birmingham. <laughs>